All right, guys, here we are on the Melon DS homepage. The link to this page will be in the description below. Now, if we scroll down, the latest version of this emulator as the recording of this video is Melon DS 0.9, which was released on September 4th, 2020. Let's scroll back up and let's go to downloads. Make sure this says Melon DS 0.9 and we have a download for Windows and Linux. My system is Windows, so I'm gonna be downloading Windows 64 bit. Just click on it and the download should start. Once it's finished, you wanna to go to the top right of your screen and click on the three little dots. Then go to downloads and you should see Melon DS 0.9. Click on show in folder. Let's lower the screen. We can exit out of our browser and let's just drag our Melon DS file to our desktop. Exit out. Now we need to extract the file. I use 7-Zip to extract my files. If you guys don't have 7-Zip installed on your computer, I will have the download link in the description below. Now, once you have 7-Zip downloaded, all you need to do is right click on your file, go to 7-Zip and extract here. And there we are, we have the Melon DS emulator. Now let's open the emulator. Now the first thing we're gonna do is go to config and video settings. Now by default, the 3D renderer is gonna be set on software. Now software will give you good smooth gameplay with no graphical issues, but if you would like to change your internal resolution, you're gonna have to change this to OpenGL. And then you have the option to change your internal resolution. You can upscale this however you like, see what your system can handle. I'm just gonna go up eight times. And also, once you start playing some games and testing some games, if it seems like you're getting a lot of screen tear, you also can go back in here and you can turn on the V-Sync. Once you're finished, click OK. Now let's install our BIOS and firmware. So back to config and go to MU settings. Now remember guys, I told you in the beginning of the video, I can't tell you where to get these BIOS files. You just have to Google search them. Once you're in here, you wanna to go to DS mode, and we're gonna do the first one, which is DS ARM 9 BIOS. Browse, locate wherever your BIOS are, and you wanna select BIOS 9 bin, open. Now for ARM 7 BIOS, browse, and you wanna select BIOS 7 bin, and for DS firmware, you wanna select firmware.bin. Okay, now to set up your controller or keyboard, you wanna go back up to config and select input and hotkeys. To the left, you have your keyboard mapping and to the right, you have your joystick mapping. Make sure you have your controller connected to your PC before opening the emulator. I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller, a PS4 controller works as well, as well as a few random wire controllers that I tried. Now, if you have multiple controllers connected to your PC, you wanna come down here to joystick and select the little drop down arrow and select whatever controller that you wanna use with this emulator. Now, to set up your buttons, all you wanna do is come up here. So for the A button where it says none, click on it and then hit whatever button on your controller you want to be the A button, B button, whatever button on your controller you want to be B, and so on. Now, if you don't recall what an actual Nintendo DS button layout looks like, I'm gonna leave you guys a picture. You can pause the video to help map your controller out. Now let's load up a game. So let's go to File, Open ROM, and locate wherever you keep your DS games on your PC. In my case, I keep mine in an external hard drive and I'm gonna load up Pokemon Black version. Select the game, give it a minute, and it should start up. There we go. All right guys, here I am in the game. Now, if you would like to change your screen size, you wanna go up to config, screen size, and let's up this to four times. And if you wanna make it completely full screen, just drag it to the corner of the screen and let go. Now, if you wanna change your screen layout to horizontal, you go up to config, screen layout, horizontal. There we go. 
And I'm gonna play a little bit. Controls are working. And everything's good. 